let's try for a stranglehold on your attention with a demonstration of one of the oldest forms of self-defense known to man. Whatever you choose to call it, jujitsu, jujutsu, judo or jujudo, the basic principle remains the same, in spite of minor variations. The first recorded use of jujitsu was by Lama monks of China, who employed it frequently to give the then numerous armed robbers the dreaded Chinese heave-ho. At this class in Highgate, London, pupils of all ages apparently fling each other about with gay abandon. Yet jujitsu is more than just a means of self-defense, it is practically a way of life. It is claimed that it develops mental alertness, confidence, concentration, good posture, and for some reason, a pleasing personality. At what age should one take up this sport? According to some, the earlier the better, and a firm believer in this motto is a young man who already has considerable experience of jujitsu. At the ripe old age of four, Master James Pook has already been awarded an orange belt for his extraordinary skill. Although young Jim obviously has neither the strength nor the skill to beat his instructor, Mr. Mayo, who holds the highly coveted black belt at sixth Dan level, he can still put up a first-rate showing. He is far above the average and can easily beat boys twice his age and size. No matter how good you are, you can't win all the time, or can you? Just imagine what might happen to a clumsy kindergarten teacher unlucky enough to upset Jimmy's bricks. The thing could spread. Even the hand that rocks the cradle might be in danger of getting itself severely twisted. Well, you never know.